Prince Charles abandoned from monarchy as Queen choose William be King of UK to save royal. Prince Charles has been accused of not keeping his side of the bargain by a former MP who claimed that younger royals could save the royal family. Prince Charles has been urged to step down from his spot on the line of succession and let his eldest son, Prince William, succeed the Queen. Former Labour MP Stephen Pound claimed the Prince of Wales had not kept his side of the deal as he repeatedly spoke out about political issues royals traditionally try not to weigh in on. Speaking to talk radio, Mr Pound said, the deal we have with Prince Charles was, we pay for someone to squeeze the toothpaste onto his toothbrush, and he keeps out of politics. We've kept our side of the deal, he hasn't kept his side of the deal, and honestly, I've met him a couple of times, he's a perfectly charming bloke, but he's trying to be a constitutional and a ceremonial monarch. He added that, I honestly believe that someone like Kate could save the royal family. Ultimately, I just want to see the confidence of this guy, I want to see the confidence to say we don't have to be ruled over, we don't have to be subjects, we can actually be citizens, in the same way that the Dutch are. What is wrong with that ceremonial monarch? We can keep the glitz and we can keep the glory and we can keep the tourists pouring through at the Tower of London, and Buckingham Palace, you name it. Mr Pound went on to talk about constitutional matters, claiming, please, don't have a system where every single member of parliament has to swear an oath of fealty to an inherited monarch, that everything in British law is done in her name. Everybody that comes to trial in this country is trialed in the Queen's name. I'm sorry, that just isn't right. Although Britain has a constitutional monarchy, in modern practice the Queen holds no real political power to act independently of the wishes of Parliament or the Prime Minister. The Queen's role in Parliament is more ceremonial, she officially opens each new session of Parliament with the Queen's speech. She is also relied upon to give royal assent to all bills passed by Parliament before becoming laws, but the approval is simply a formality. Many have speculated that the Queen's successful reign has been thanks to her lack of involvement in politics and her discreet character. The Queen Mother coined the phrase, never complain, never explain, but as the monarchy modernizes, it seems that other members of the family have taken a different approach to their PR. Prince Charles' cash for honours scandal comes after the Crown inflicted a ratings crash in support for him as a future king. More people in Britain currently think the Prince of Wales would make a bad king than good since December 2020, according to YouGov. And it comes after three resignations at his charity, the Prince's Foundation, following allegations a Saudi billionaire was offered help securing a knighthood and UK citizenship in exchange for donations. As recently as June 2020, 38% of people felt the next in line to the throne would make a good head of state compared to 30% who did not. However, in November season 4 of Netflix series The Crown hit screens with its depiction by Emma Corrin of Princess Diana's bulimia while Prince Charles, Josh O'Connor, conducted an affair behind her back. Just a month later, UK pollster YouGov recorded that 32% thought he would make a good king compared to 33% who felt he would not. The show on Sunday cleaned up at the Emmys with 11 wins, including the Best Actor in a Drama Award for O'Connor, who at one point depicts Charles in a fit of rage. According to historian Professor Jenny Hocking noted the Prince of Wales makes no bones about being more outspoken about his position than Her Majesty. He becomes involved in political questions over architecture, over the environment, over advocating for the fox hunt and so on. Well, traditionally, these are rare areas in which the monarchy claims to have no involvement, should have no involvement. So he's already, I think, caused some consternation with his public political pronouncements that are not the place of the future monarch to make. Speaking with Express.co.uk in April, Professor Hocking said, many people have been disturbed by the way in which Charles, far more overtly than the Queen, has engaged in political matters. I mean, he makes no bones about that in many respects. He becomes involved in political questions over architecture, over the environment, over advocating for the fox hunt and so on. Well, traditionally, these are rare areas in which the monarchy claims to have no involvement, should have no involvement. So he's already, I think, 
caused some consternation with his public political pronouncements that are not the place of the future monarch to make, that are not the place of the 